everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. Uh, before I get into the rumors we got for you today, because we have a fresh batch from somebody who has basically a track record like any other, sometimes right, sometimes wrong. Got a bunch of stuff right this year, some stuff wrong the year, uh, sorry, a bunch of stuff right in 2021. I keep forgetting we're in 2022, uh, but some stuff wrong in 2020. Obviously, there's also a pandemic, so maybe that's an excuse to get stuff wrong. I have no idea. All I know is we're talking about this stuff because it's extremely exciting. Uh, but yes, it is a rumor video. We're not like, you know, BSing you. It's in the title. So anyways, um... Before we get into that, I want to remind you that we are giving away a hundred dollars in cash money to a lucky new subscriber here in the month of January. Uh, we're running this all the way through January 27th, so we should have the winner drawn on the 28th. Uh, so yeah, if you guys uh, want to enter and you're you know not subscribed to the channel, I encourage you to do so. Also, if we can get this video to I don't know, let's say. Let's just go out on a limb and say a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. I will pick one random person down in the comment section as well and give them a $50 eShop gift card. Speaking of giveaways, I would be remiss if I didn't mention for everybody, we're giving away three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus this month. To enter, there's a viral sweep link down in the description or the pinned comment. All right, that being said, now that we got our little preamble of giveaways out of the way, let's get into today's rumor batch because it's talking about some games, some really exciting stuff. Uh, and this comes from Marco Mauro over on Twitter. Now this would have made the rounds yesterday in our little, little Twitter rumor uh, roundup in our video, but unfortunately, they didn't come till today, and I, it's a bit of a slow news day. I do have a, a one piece of news we might talk about tonight because we will be live streaming uh, our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond stream tonight, uh, hopefully getting even further in the game there. But the thing is, I want to focus on these rumors because they're about stuff happening this year, stuff that we might have already heard about before but maybe have more confirmation on it here, including some exact release dates. Uh, and if these release dates are right, that's just going to leave even more credit to uh, Marco Morrow. So let's get into what he said on Twitter today. You guys know the drill. Blur it up, get to the tweets, and then talk. So first up here we have uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land new info uh, is apparently coming later this month alongside a new look at Advanced Wars 1 plus 2. Now personally this feels like a Nintendo Direct but he doesn't specifically mention a Direct so we'll go from there. Uh, it also says it looks like uh, Kirby will be launching on March 25th and Advanced Wars will be launching on April 8th which by the way the Advanced Wars 1 plus 2 reboot camp date actually leaked on the eShop so April 8th is already something floating out there. So not, not so much credit for that but if the Kirby Kirby date is correct. That would be obviously pretty awesome. There's also a couple of minor games to be announced for the spring season, including Fire Emblem Echoes, which should release in the first half of 2022 too. That's the next, you know, six months. So by the end of June, people are worried about the Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel. And if Wind Waker and or Twilight Princess HD is releasing this year, I should remind them that in the past, they have released two Zelda games in the same year, like Ocarina of Time 3D and Skyward Sword in 2011, or Majora's Mask 3D and Triforce Heroes in 2015. These games are considered minor releases for them. It's basically the same games from the Wii U with some small fixes where Wind Waker actually gets most of those fixes. That's why they were planning to release both as a pack, a bundle but he doesn't know if this is still the case and that's why they didn't release it in 2021 with Skyward Sword HD that was in development for around two years and the same studio behind those games are doing the Wii U ports the new Pikmin unlikely will have a chance with the packed schedule for 2022 aka if there's a new Pikmin game it's probably not going to be coming out this year according to him but I believe that at least it will be announced later this year Development of this game was a little bit of hell and was only until 2018 when they started working seriously on it after they restarted development from the original development of it, which Miyamoto talked about in the past, about how the next Pikmin game is almost done. Apparently got rebooted in 2018. All right, other notes that uh, I found when he was responding to people asking him questions is uh, the Pikmin game started out as Pikmin 4 from the very beginning, but I don't know if that's going to be the final name, aka that's basically what it was called when Miyamoto said the game was almost done, but obviously that might not be the case anymore. And then he does mention the Donkey Kong game that was rumored last year, and he says, more about the Donkey Kong game in a few months. The game is coming this year, and I don't think it will be delayed. Now, 
Again, we haven't heard much about that Donkey Kong game uh, rumor for a while. It's kind of one of those we kind of assume it exists, but nobody actually, like, the big thing about the Donkey Kong game rumor from 2021 is that none of the people who said it's real said they actually know when Nintendo's going to release it or unveil it. We kind of hoped it would be done for Donkey Kong's 40th last year, but it wasn't. So, yeah, it's one of those uh, weird situations where we aren't really sure when we're going to see this game, if it's real. Is it going to end up becoming a Star Fox Racing situation where heavily rumored game never actually gets announced? Was it a real thing? Did it get canceled? Nobody seems to have any direct info on that because, again, it was never actually talked about publicly by Nintendo. It's unlike if Metro Prime 4 got like canceled. That would be really strange since Nintendo's talked about it publicly twice now. The original announcement and then the quote-unquote reboot. I guess I can't say delay because it never had a release date, but the reboot. So, yeah. Um, what I find obviously fascinating in this batch of info is the idea that there's a new Fire Emblem game, specifically the Fire Emblem Echoes, which is like a, you know, another, it, it would follow the trend of Fire Emblem where they release like a new generation of Fire Emblem games and then they obviously like remaster, remake old ones. Echoes is one that's been heavily hinted at for a while. The fact that he says it's coming out this year, I think is probably a pretty safe bet if you look at when the last time we got Fire Emblem Three Houses and the normal development cycle of Fire Emblem games. But still, we'll have to wait and see on that front. So yeah, what do we basically learn here? I just want to glance at the notes here. We also learned a Pikmin game is coming. Probably not this year, according to Marco Maro. Uh, we learned that Kirby and the Forgotten Lands coming on the 25th. Uh, we learned that there's going to be a Fire Emblem Echoes game likely coming in the first six months. Uh, and yeah, obviously Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD, one of the two, if not both of them bundled together, should be coming this year as well. It doesn't actually specify when. Jeff Grubb, by the way, has also backed up the Wind Waker Twilight Princess thing happening this year. And I know some people doubted it because of the release of Breath of the Wild. But again, they have done two Zelda games in the past uh, and they consider their re-releases like this to actually be considered major releases. You might go, but they hyped up Skyward Sword. Well, I mean, yeah, but there was nothing else coming last year, so like that, we're gonna act like that was the big Zelda announcement. Technically, we got Zelda Game and Watch. I argue they did it again, but anyways, folks, you guys let me know what you think about all this stuff down in the comments because I'm I, obviously when it comes to rumors, you know, you gotta you gotta be skeptical. You gotta you know take it take it for what it is, take it at face value, and that is we don't know if any of this is true, but. We should know soon. New information is supposedly coming later this month on Kirby and uh, Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. And even if that doesn't happen, March 25th, let's keep that date. Let's lock it in the back of their mind. I'm actually going to make a note of it on my whiteboard in my office here in my studio uh, because I want to remember that to, to fact check Marco Maro here because if they nail that March 25th date, Oh boy, would that be exciting. Also, I think Kirby and the Forgotten Land is a great pair up with Project Triangle strategy to end the year. Obviously, we've always hoped for Splatoon 3 or one of the other major games, but hey, Kirby and the Forgotten Land could become that Kirby game that blows up and hits five, six, seven, eight million in sales. We'll have to see. Everything sells on Switch, right? We just had record-breaking sales announced, you know, a few days ago for Shin Megami Tensei 5. Uh, so yeah, clearly it's probably gonna sell. So we'll have to wait and see how well it actually does. Now, before we wrap up today's video, I just wanna express my extreme thanks to all of you guys. Um, I know I've already been through some of this on our New Year's stream and obviously in our end of year recap video when I was like, oh my gosh, you know, goodbye, this is the end. And it was just the end of 2021, I had a little fun. I just want to express my extreme thanks to all of you guys. Um, I've had a lot of time over the weekend to reflect on 2021 here as a YouTube channel, let alone my life in 2021. Uh, I'm not going to get into any of the specific details beyond our YouTube channel, but it was a crazy year. And obviously we've all been dealing with COVID and all of our own stresses and um, pressure and everything else that we all deal with. And I just want to express my extreme gratitude to all of you. You guys watched my videos in record numbers. You guys supported the channel in record numbers, whether it was Super Chats or memberships or just sharing, liking, commenting. It was the biggest year at the channel yet. And I, I'm, I'm actually kind of humbled uh, by the success of the channel in 2021. It, it is so far and way the best year that the YouTube channel has ever had that it makes me extremely excited about our prospects here in 2022 and what we could be building towards. Obviously, we have our own, you know, we did our big E3 event last year. We'll do, be doing something for E3 again this year, whether it's an at-home and studio event again or whether we change it up and we're obviously going to be at E3 you know, playing the games, giving hands-on impressions, giving exclusive footage, uh, hopefully getting media passes. That would be really cool, uh, assuming that E3 is even back this year. And if not, who knows? Maybe we'll do other events throughout the year as well. Uh, so we'll just have to, you know, 
kind of keep track in the back of our mind what we're building towards here because I think last year was very goal oriented. I had a lot of goals coming into that year and I feel like we basically smashed every single goal I had. Chief among them obviously bringing higher quality content to you uh, throughout the year and I feel like you know with the set and everything and hopefully the set continues to evolve this year uh, we've done that. Uh, beyond that and you, some people always get mad. Why do you say we? Because this isn't just my journey. This is our journey. And I've had help along the way, whether it's the support of my wonderful, beautiful future wife in Yulia, whether it's obviously Eric who helps co-host some of my live events and do the Nintendo Prime podcast with me, all of the guests we've had on our podcast, everyone who's helped behind the scenes, Nintendo Academy who contributed uh, to our Prime Giving giveaway back in November, uh, and whether it's just all of you out there bringing smiles to my face every single day with your kind words and your passionate video game talk, I appreciate all of you. Even even those of you out there that keep me on my toes and yell clickbait and scream from the mountaintop fake news or uh, Nate you're fat or this or that or whatever bullcrap exists out there the hate videos that pop up on YouTube trying to be like Nintendo Prime exposed um, and even people who get mad sometimes that they wait a little bit to receive giveaway prizes I appreciate all of you seriously um, it was a big learning experience because it was the first year that I really felt like the channel became somewhat of a responsibility not just something I'm doing for fun but something that people come to rely on for certain things and I really that, that I think that's maybe what took me back the most about 2021 so thank you guys so much uh, for the success of the channel because it's nothing without all of you uh, and here's to hopefully an even bigger better more organized and brighter 2022 I'll catch you guys in hopefully our live stream tonight when we're streaming Pokemon Brilliant Diamond